So welcome everyone. Today we're going to go over 2021 for AMC 12 competition question number 25. Let's take a look at the question first. For n, a positive integer r n be the sum of the remainder when n is divided by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. For example, R15 is equal to 26. Is all these are sum of the remainder when divide by 2, remainder 1, divide by 3, remainder 0, divide by 4, remainder 3, divide by 5, remainder 0, divide by 6, remainder 3, divide by 7, remainder 1, divide by 8, remainder 7, divide by 9, remainder 6, divide by 10, remainder 5. You just add this up, you get a 26. We want to find out how many such a two digit positive integer when the n value increased by one and then the sum of the remainder will be the same. The remainder for each individual divisors may be changed, but the sum of the remainder will remain the same. So this is the condition we want those uh, two digit integer satisfy this. We considering the divisor two to 10 and then from n plus 1 is divided by m, the remainder is increased by either 1 or decreased by m minus 1 from remainder n is divided by m. So that means n divided by m, when you add this n by 1, the remainder will be changed. But there's only two different changes. One is um, the remainder increased simply by 1. The other one just decreased by n minus 1 just exactly one less than the divisor. So we're gonna take a look. For example, 15 divided by four, the remainder is three. So look at this one, m equal to four. Okay. And then if I change this n 15 from uh, just by one, increase by one becomes 16. 16 divided by 4, the remainder becomes 0. So these um, remainder is changed and also just decreased by m minus 1, which is the m is 4, 4 minus 1, which is 3. Originally, you know, the remainder is 3, now dropped to 0. Okay, that's the, the very simple reason, because the remainder reaching to the maximum the maximum remainder will be three. If you add one more, certainly the remainder will become zero. Let's look at the other case. When 15 divided by seven, the remainder is one, two remainder one. So remainder one, but if you increase this um, 15 by one, you get a 16 divided by seven, you get a remainder two. This is simply just uh, increased by one. So for the second case, increase by one. So that means when you add the one to the remainder, it doesn't go to the n plus one. But the previous one, if you add this three by one, it's gonna be multiple of four. So that means one more uh, than the remainder, you're gonna, is the same as the remainder. So that definitely will be drop the remainder from n minus one to zero. So I'm gonna make a list for m divisor from two to 10. The remainder change, every divisor will be the case. They're gonna be increased by one as one case. Also, they could be uh, draw by n minus one. For example, two, you drop one, three, drop two, four, drop three, five, drop four, blah, 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 until 10, you can drop from remainder nine to zero, okay? So we want to keep the sum of the remainder divided by this number two to 10, the sum of the remainder remain the same. So the remainder decreased by M minus one, when this M is gonna be one less than the multiple of, um, the divisor. For example, previous one, you see this is gonna be multiple of four, in this case gonna be 16. 
So this is 15 exactly one less than 16 multiple of four. So in that case, it's gonna be dropped. So this one you see, this is 15 will be multiple of four is 16, one less than that will be 15. So when you divide by four, the remainder will be draw from three to zero. Okay. So this is a, the case only when the n divided by m is reaching the maximum remainder. And then when you add one more to the n, it will be dropped by m minus one. So that's why I'm gonna put uh, this table this way. The increase and decrease amount should be balanced out because we want to sum all the remainder in the case n divided by m. And then when in the case m plus one divided by m, the remainder definitely will be changed. But no matter what you change, I want the sum of the remainder remain the same. So in order to remain the same, we just look at the change of the remainder. Increase and decrease amount should be no changed. That means they balance out. So we will prove that the negative value can only have two. That means it can only decrease by two of them. All the other should be increasing. Otherwise the sum of the value won't be the same. So if the negative value are more than three, so what happens? We, we, we will see it's not possible. So the sum of the F's value is at least you see, I'm gonna take uh, these a few value, could be um, any of these, right? The lowest uh, F's value, one, two, three, four. So that may at least get the F's value one, two, three, four, which is 10. That will be um, the negative values, some of them. In that case, is that possible? We can get the increasing amount will be the same. That's total, we only have nine, nine divisors, different divisors. So the sum of the positive value is at most of five. We already use the four of them. You still have, um, um, this is equal to nine minus four, right? We already get a four values with a negative value. We still have another five positive at most. So this uh, won't be possibly balanced out. So increasing, decreasing value is not possible to be equal. So in this case, that failed. So the negative value more than three is not possible. So this is wrong. Now let, let's look at the case. Is that possible to be three? We do the same thing. If they have three negative value, so the least uh, F's value value will be taken from here. Let's say at least we start from here and here, and then we see what happens. We should have, you see, F's value, the, the positive value will be six. If you take this uh, three negative and then you get a six positive, it sounds like they are balanced out, but there's an issue here. And if the remainder decreased by one, when n divided by three, you will take this one. And then the n will be odd, one less than multiple two. This is odd. So the remainder is decreased by two when divided by three. That means this n will be one less than multiple three. So n is negative one equivalent, uh, equivalent negative one modulo two, and at the same negative one equivalent negative one modulo three. So based on the modular arithmetic theorem, we will find out this also n will be negative one modular sixth. So we'll get these are three at least um, is this one, this one. So that means the negative value, when you increase n by one, divide by six, the remainder should also decrease uh, by five. So we get a negative value, negative five. So the sum of the negative value become negative eight. 
So in this case, it's not possible, even mm -hmm. though you use the negative one, negative two, negative five for three of them, you still cannot balance out. You will get the only how many positive value? Uh, six positive, positive value, but you get a negative value, negative eight. So the not possible balance out. So that means this conclude that even with, with these uh, three negative value, we still cannot get the balanced. We only have two negative value, one negative value left. So it certainly cannot be no negative value. So what about the last uh, two cases? One negative value, is that possible? For example, if I take one negative value, I make this uh, large enough, I'm gonna balance out re the rest of it. Certainly the only case we can do is negative eight, right? So because totally you got a nine numbers, nine divisors. In order to balance out, you wanna get the negative eight will be the only negative value we can take it. But all the other will be positive ones. So sounds like they're balanced. Negative eight plus eight ones are gonna be a balance out. This means the n will be one less than multiple nine. So that's why when you increase one, the so, so earlier the remainder is eight when you divide by nine. But when you increase by one, that become the n plus one become multiple nine. So the remainder becomes zero. So certainly in this case, the um, the remainder dropped eight. But in this case, you can see this uh, one less than multiple nine certainly will be one less than multiple three automatically. So if this is uh, one less than multiple three, you get another negative value, negative two. That gives us trouble. So we get a two negative value, that's a contradiction. You said, okay, can we get a one negative value possibly? That's not possible. So we get another contradiction. So this just proved the conclusion that I means there are only two negative values. So the remaining part, we're gonna find out the cases for two negative value for the remainder change. So you just narrow down to the case with a two negative value. Okay, let's just uh, go to the analysis with a two negative remainder change. We can only have two negative for sure. The positive amount will be seven. And then the two negative sum will be negative seven in order to, for them to balance out. So how do you get the negative seven for two negative value? That's very easy. One, six, two, five, three, four. Negative one, negative six, negative two, negative five, negative three, negative four for the three pairs. You get the sum of the negative value will be negative seven. So some of them are not valid. We take a look at case by case. The first case, negative three, negative four. Is that possible? So negative three means the n will be one less than multiple four. Negative four means the n will be one less than multiple five. So based on this one, we will find out n will be an odd number because that's one less than multiple four. But it's an odd number. We have another negative for dividing by two. So that possibly we get another negative value, negative one then. Um, so that's a contradiction. It's not possible. So this case will fail, okay? We won't get this negative three, negative four as the sum of the negative seven. Negative two, negative five, that means this n has to be what? Multiple, one less than multiple three, one less than multiple six. So that also gonna be odd because gonna be one less than multiple six. So that will be odd. In this case, we get one more negative value when you divide by two, another contradiction. So we won't be able to get this case, negative two, negative five, add together negative seven, also eliminate it. So we only have 
one more left. That will be negative one, negative six. So this is the only hope we can find out the two digit integer number n to satisfy the condition. The sum of the rem remainder doesn't change. So this means this n value must be one less than multiple two, uh, one less than multiple of seven, okay? So certainly two and seven relative prime, this means the n value must be one less than multiple 14. I mean, negative one modular 14. So uh, we can take a look at n for the two digit number for one less than multiple 14. That will be, you can, you can write this one, 14, 28, 42, 56, 70, 84, 98. That's for, for n plus one as a multiple of 14. For n just a one less than that, 13, 27, 41, 55, 69, 83, 97. Okay. See, this is 14 times two, 14 times three, times 14 times four, 14 times five, 14 times six, 14 times seven. You got these um, seven values. Are these the seven value are all we needed? Obviously some of them have some trouble. For example, over here, the n plus one, you got a sum of the value will be having factor other than two and a seven. Those ones should be eliminated. Let's take a look at one by one. 28 definitely will be issue. That's gonna be multiple four. That means n will be four, um, one less than multiple four. I mean, you get a trouble with this, right? So 28 should be eliminated. 42, that means 41 is 42, one less than 42. 42 is gonna be uh, multiple uh, six, one less than multiple six. So we get a remainder negative five will come out. Same thing, 56, multiple eight. So that means the n will be one less than multiple eight. So 56 should be eliminated. So this one, 70 is multiple five. So that means this will be, n will be one less than multiple five. So that should also be excluded. 84 is multiple four as well. So 70, 84, that will be remainder three will be coming out. I mean, will be negative three, negative, negative three value coming out. Okay, that should be eliminated. So look at this 14, 14 that's only have the factor two and a seven. And also this one only have seven and a two, right? That being said, the, this will be the only possible value which satisfy the condition, okay? That's a good one. So only n plus one equal to 1498 works. They only have factor two and seven. Even though as you see 98 have seven squares, but there's no other prime factors. No other, not just prime factor, the factor as other values. So the possible value for n will be only two, 13 and 97. So we're done then. Thank you for watching. If you want to get a more video update, please subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.